Hi guys, I uh, I hope we're all keeping well and we're all safe during this time. Uh, here is my Kirkcaldy Greatest of R15. Um, and at one for me, and I apologise if I've got the props kind of the wrong way about I, I can't really say it's my rare expertise, I tend to stay away from there. Um, and at one for me is uh, Mark A. Moomin Thompson. Uh, Marky was a great player, yeah, um, great scrummager, great, uh, great in attack, great in defence, and then um, I've just I've I've got distinct memories of Marky just having great hands, uh, really, really, I, I just kind of stood out for me for being such a big fella. He was able to sling the ball, but so, I Marky is in there for me, and then Hooker, and this might be my the the easiest call for me, um, Greg Wallace. Uh, Greg is a boy who I watched a lot play when I was younger and kind of when I was coming through uh, trying to break into the seniors when I was younger was one of the guys who kind of put his emmer in me uh, was really really helpful to me and uh, I was lucky enough to get to play a fair bit with him uh, great leader and <laughs> great for a bus on the way him great for a sing song and uh, not sure if he's going to keep playing or that at the end of the season or hopefully he does but if no, he's uh, he's been a great player and uh, one of the one of my favourite players to kind of play with. Um, and at three is uh, Marcus. Uh, Marcus, so um, Marcus must have an injury list uh, the size of a bible. Like I've, the amount of boys who I've seen buckle buckle under him, try to tackle him, whether it be in training, whether it be. Uh, playing against Matt, he's just a he's a really really tough boy, Marcus. Uh, you never ever see the first kind of person get him doing. Obviously a great scrummager. I uh, I've been lucky enough to play with Marcus for a lot of years, and uh, I I would I would chuck Marcus in there. Uh, and at Sutton draw, uh, my first number four would be James Appel. Uh, James is a guy who, uh, again, I've kind of came up through the age grade with Kirkcaldy. Um, really, really tough player. Really, really tough player. Him and his uh, brother Jack, they're... Uh, <laughs> you need a certain type of player on your team, and I'll say that. I'll say that. Uh, James, uh, James is really tough. He's uh, he's kind of playing at it still and uh, doing really well for himself. He's... Um, James has got the ability to change a game, but then he's also got that ability to kind of kill momentum. Of the other. A team with the hits and that he puts in, so... Aye, James is probably what I always want him on my team. Uh, and at five, I would chuck Matty Harvey. Matty's another guy who I kind of looked up to a lot when I was, when I was uh, trying to come through when I was younger, and Matty's just... His hands and his go go gadget arms with these offloads are fleeing about all the shop. He's a. Uh, Matty, Matty was a brilliant player. You can, if he's gone, if he was taking the ball to the line, you're on either side of him, because chances are he's going to get his arms free and chuck you the ball. So, And when it, when he's in defence, he absolutely smashes boys nine times out of ten. He's going to knock boys back in the tackle. So Matty's eye was somebody that I'd want in my team. Uh, and at seven for me is Big uh, Dale Turner. Um, I I firmly believe that the year we went up, Dale was uh, he was for me one of the most important players that year, just because of it. Dale, Dale was obviously a try scoring machine, and that's kind of what everybody, everybody, all the fans and that will see looking at Dale that he scores a lot of tries. But the thing for me with Dale is he's one of the most selfless players in terms of he gets himself about. He's week on week he has to have like one of the highest tackle rates when you're playing with him. Um, Constantly hunting for ball, constantly, uh, constantly working, and he's one of the kind of selfless guys who will get himself a bit. So yeah, you need somebody like that on your team. So I chucked Dale, Dale down there. Uh, in the back row, alongside Dale, I would have uh, Reese Bonner. Reese, uh, Reese is just a freak of nature. He's 
I don't think Reese has ever been to like the gym or anything like that or lifted weights or anything, but he's his natural ability to run clean out of the top of boys and like just how strong he is. I've seen him run with three, four boys in his back and he scored some amount of tries through doing that at Kirkcaldy. It was uh, there's times where I've given them hospital passes and he's had three, four boys on him and I'm screaming at him, you're in, you're in, because you, you, you just done a with Reese, yeah. But uh, Reese is somebody you want in your team, a real game changer at times. He's one of the boys you can make someone out of nothing just because he's ability. So uh, I'd have Reese in there. Uh, in at eight for me, um, a guy who I never actually got a chance to play well, sadly. But um, I watched them terrorise teams when I was a when I was a wee ball boy when I was younger. Um, big chat, Craig Wilson. Uh, in at nine for me, uh, kind of another easy call for me really. Um, Gavi McKenzie. Guy was a great player, uh, and in terms of me, kind of captaining the team this year was a massive, massive help. Um, Gavi's got all the skills, all the great skills in the nine, good pass, kind of reads the games well, leads the boys well. Uh, but the thing for me that I was stood out with Gavi was he was just a. Uh, there'd be some games where he'd play six, seven, or eight, uh, and he'd just he'd randomly out of nowhere he'll fly at the line and put a big hit in, and you'll see him at the bottom of the rocks getting stuck in a boot. So that kind of tells you a wee bit about him. As a player, maybe takes that after his old man a wee bit. Uh, in at 10, I think somebody who's kind of made up his uh, greatest 15s at Kirkcaldy is uh, Kwane. Um, Kwane done a lot for me when I was younger, kind of helping me bring my game on. And uh, you just remember watching watching his goal kick in, his, his ability to boot for ball with his hands, he was... Uh, Really, really classy player and I learned a lot of films, so quite a chuck in there. In at 12, as I've actually just finished watching Marky Wallace's, uh, Marky Wallace's video, and I'll agree with him, I'll chuck him in there, I know. Uh, Marky was brilliant for me. Um, when I was trying to kind of break in, because Marky was 12, and I, oh, I was 13 at the time, but in terms of learning how to defend and uh, other just how to run hard and kind of fundamentals of the game, Marky was brilliant. Um, I remember I wasn't very good at tackling that when I was younger, so whenever Marky would put a big hit in, I'd just kind of try and jump on the tap and claim that as a tackle. <laughs> but uh, I, I would chuck Marky in there, really hardy boy. Um, in at 13, and he's one of my favourite players to play with, uh, Ian Gillis. Um, Gil was just a smooth operator. Um, ran some phenomenal lines, and uh, in a in defence, it was just made so easy. Well, um, he was a really really good communicator. Um, the season we we'd went up, it was me and him, kind of twelve thirteen, and that was a I really really enjoyed playing with Gil. So I had Chuck Gil in there. Um, on the wing, the somebody who never really played on the wing, but I I think he did a, a really good job there for me. Um, as a cut little John. Uh, Kurt's just his ability to beat a boy is second to none. He's um absolutely rapid. I reckon could finish off a try if anywhere in the park. Um, sadly we've no had on for the past few seasons, but uh, I'm sure if uh, possible we'd all love to kind of have Curtie back playing for us. So. Um. On the other wing, for me, I've put uh, Owen Bonner. Uh, I've really enjoyed playing with Owen. Uh, I've, I've kind of known Owen a lot since I was a young. I watched him, he was a few years younger than me, kind of coming up through the age grade stuff as well. Um, never came when you're kind of going to get Owen. It might be a, a yellow card, a red card, a hat trick, a man of the match performance. You didn't can, but... All I can guarantee is that it's gonna be it's gonna be explosive and uh aye. Owen's a really natural rugby player Owen actually. He's um really good ability to kinda of beat a player and know what to do in certain situations, so I chuck OG in there. Um fifteen for me is uh one of the probably best players I've ever played with. 
um, just in terms of all-round game and uh, especially kind of learning off it. Uh, it was uh, Colin Harvey. One of my first memories of uh, Colin was uh, one of my first senior games I was playing for the Kirkcaldy settings versus Glenofis settings. I was about 16 or something at the time. And we were getting beat like 25 now. I think it was 25 minutes in and we were getting beat two tries two tries to nothing or something. Then Colin just walks on, strolls the game, didn't he break a sweat. All he kind of done was communicated a lot better than what we were doing and I uh, really just kind of ran the show and I just remember looking back and right okay that's right, that's how you get that done so uh, I learnt a lot off of Colin and a uh, really really tidy player um, on the first player I've kind of got on the bench or my finishers um, front row replacement would be Big Dodd Big uh, George Mangalow um, George is somebody who, when I came back to the club, he was in the team that I was. He was in the team, but he, he's kind of been a bit hampered with injury. But uh, the memories I've got of watching Dodd play is enough to easily put him in the team for me. He's uh, Dodd just to uh, be a real force to reckon with. A real force to reckon with in terms of scrummaging. Um, he's another one of the big guys who seem to have really, really good hands. Uh, and that's obviously uh, he was a useful trait to have. So uh, I'd really want Big Dodd on my team. Um, and as my other front row replacement, I'd have uh, James's brother, Jackie Powell. Uh, Jack's kind of, I would describe Jack a lot how I'd describe James. Uh, you need the certain types of players in your team. Um, and I can't really describe the certain types of players without swearing, but yeah, <laughs> really, really tough guys. Um, well, Jack's willing to put his head where a lot of boys wouldn't even dream of doing it. So he's a uh, Jack's kind of a crucial player. You need that. You need that team, and I could see Jack coming on to finish a lot of games for us. Um, and at my other kind of forward replacement uh, finisher, if you like, that I've got is a uh, big Kenny Fraser. Uh, Kenny's somebody who I never actually played. I, I didn't kind of have. I did play with Kenny. I might have. I might have gotten maybe one game with him. But uh, I watched Kenny play a lot. Uh, really, really good player. I was uh, lucky enough to kind of be coached by Kenny. Um, and I think if you if you remember watching Hendo's video, just called him a kind of out and out winner. Um, and that's kind of reflected in how he played and, and in his coaching style. So I I could see Kenny doing a really good job for me. Um, and my last player I've got on the bench uh, is somebody who I was a big fan of watching when I was younger I've seen him play a lot when I was younger um, and I was fortunate enough to get the chance to play with him when I was uh, through in Edinburgh for a bit big uh, Jordy Webster um, Jordy was a great winger uh, uh, kind, I remember Jordy just having this ability to come off his wing at the right times. Uh, he was a really, really strong ball carrier. Uh, at that time, he had a bit of gas about him. Uh, I'm not too sure about that now, but uh, Jordy was a, a really tidy player and I, uh, I think he's a good player to kind of have on my bench. Uh, so that's it. I've, um, that was actually really hard for me to kind of pick that. There was a lot of guys kind of on the fringe, not quite making it, but uh, I've enjoyed doing that, it's been good to kind of have a wee think about all the good players and that I've played over the years and I've learned a lot of this, so anyway guys, keep safe and I uh, hope to see you all soon, cheers.